Hey there, I'm James Stuckey. My name is Chris Stewart. I'm Jeff Camillo. I'm the head equipment manager for the Seattle Kraken. On any given trip, I'd say in total we're getting up to around 50 bags that we're loading, besides actually the trunks that we have as well. Pull up to the belt loader and then we start kind of firing everything onto the plane, which has kind of an order of the way things have to go on the plane. Sometimes you gotta space out your equipment in the plane. You can't have too much weight in the front or the back. You would think that there's plenty of room underneath those planes, but once you get under there, it's a pretty tight area. And if you don't start loading trunks and then bags, you can find yourself into some trouble and having to basically unload the plane to reload the plane. We'll send what we call an equipment transfer so the other team knows we're coming in. Every team has an Evan Elliott like our, like we have here in Seattle. He's tasked with dealing with the visiting team and so that guy picks us up at you know whatever city we're flying into. Walk off the plane right to the belt loader, load up the visiting team's truck. And then we head over to the game rink if it's available, unload our equipment, get set up for morning skate the next morning. Oh, look at this guy, let's be careful with that. Usually it takes us about an hour to get everything from the truck and ready to go for the next day. Not too long. Give the people what they want, what they want, Timmy. You know? Well, he says he doesn't like it, but he's, he's a natural. He's not oh. even looking at the camera. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, look at this. I natural. Hey, <laughs> act like you've been there. <laughs> First time I've seen you put product in your hair all year. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Chris? Oh wow! Look at that friendly fire now. <laughs> Now we're ready. Traditionally, we're on the ice at 11.30 on the road, and so we'll usually get to the arena around 8. We'll touch up any blades that need to be finished up for, for that day. Each guy has three sets of steel, and so it's just, a, it's just an ongoing rotation every time they pull a guy's steel off and there's trauma in the steel or there's big nicks or anything. We rotate them so they always have fresh steel and two good edges on each blade. When the skate comes out of the blade, it gets sharpened and it goes into a box that we call the B box. And then we take the blade that was in the B box, rotate that into the game box. And then the blade that was in the game box goes into the skate. That creates the rotation. So this is what I was talking about here. These are the two cases we use. We just, we just rotate them through every time we sharpen. Whenever the guys are on the ice, we always try to make sure that we have an equipment staff and a medical staff on the bench for whatever may come up. Stucky will make sure that the bench is ready with water bottles and stuff like that, and make sure the players have everything they need. Explode in your hand? Yeah. That just is kind of the start of our day on game day. And then we just kind of tackle whatever comes up in the morning as a team to you know, be ready for when the guys hit the ice. Thank you, my friend. You got it. The three of us, we just kind of make sure things get cleaned up, make sure laundry gets pulled out and start hanging jerseys and getting the room cleaned up for game time. The plan is to have everything ready to go for when everybody gets there. So during the game, I'm pretty much just support uh, close to the bench if we need anything. This is a tight bench, so only Jeff goes on it here. You don't have my socks. Your feet socks? Yeah. What do we have any? Which ones were you at? The Swiftwick? These ones? Yeah. The Kraken head down to the desert, the Gila River Arena for the final time to take on the Arizona Coyotes in the beginning of a three-game road trip. On a change of fresh, Aiden Flurry. Here he comes. Hayden got hit along the wall and his heel actually hit the boards to where his blade broke. So then I had to run back, grab his backup skates, 
bring his backup skates on for him to put on, Whoa. and then take his skate back, repair it, and bring back his skate to him to put back on. Anytime you break a skate like that, that's worst case scenario. You know, that's hectic. There's the problem. So yeah, I, I went back and forth, and Arizona's a long run to the dressing room. I was definitely out of breath that game. And then third period is when we kind of get going. Chris and I are in the back, pre-packing, getting the equipment truck partially loaded. Once the final buzzer rings, usually me and Stucks are in the middle of the dressing room trying to grab all the jerseys. I'll start packing up the sharpeners and packing up trunks as best I can to get us out and loaded. From the outside, it looks very chaotic, but we've done it so many times that it actually goes fairly smoothly, even though it looks like we're just kind of running around. You know, that 20 minute mark is kind of our benchmark where we like to try to be rolling and I'd say we were pretty good. And then it kind of settles down for a minute, waiting for the last few bags, and then right to the bus and right onto the plane. Off to the next destination.